Hey everyone. Well, how is everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I sure did. And like I mentioned in my previous video, um, I'm getting a new phone and I got that. I went and got a um, uh, Samsung S10 and I'm all new to technology. That's why I'm having so many issues because like I said before in my previous videos that I was using an old phone and what I was using was the, the S5 Neo, Samsung S5 Neo. And so I was very, very limited. This didn't even have um, time lapse, hyper lapse or anything on it. And I so wanted to do a video. To, I know that there's time lapse that is in with these new, uh, newer phones, these newer models. So right now, I'm trying to figure out how to use the time lapse during a video. And it's not giving me the option, so... What I'm, uh, what I started doing earlier, I I added, uh, I put a little tail on. But you always start off with uh, with this type. What I'm making is the spiral necklace. I'm making the necklace for my stones, my protective stones. That is. So. What I'm gonna try to do. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I was hoping to, to, uh, uh, to make a video and watch another video on my phone. Cause right now I have it set on Omar Gosh TV. He does look, he does some hauntings, uh, explorations and I'm into that kind of stuff. I wanted to watch that, so I don't know. But like I was explaining before, I put a tail on here, and then you go in, when you start to go into making this design, you start off with four beads. Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. So you, you, you put on, when you start off this project, you try to figure out what's going to be the in beads and the out beads. And what do I mean by that is that the black are going to be the in beads and the orange are going to be the out beads. So you start off with the four and then you add three, um, if I can get, get them on a needle. Yeah, my needle is pretty bent. And, uh, you get three three of the uh, out beads and then you sew up through the four just like that and then from there you only put on one in bead and then three out beads. Now this is going to be your procedure all the way through the, the uh, making of the necklace. Is you just you you just put one in bead, three out beads, and when you go to sew it down, of course you bring it all the way down because you've got to include that black bead in with your count. Now, you don't sew up through the out beads, just the in beads. And you start off from the top, one, two, three, four. The fourth bead down is what you sew up into. Oh. And that's how... 
you start off. And you just keep doing that. You put one in bead in, three out beads. If I can get them on here would be fabulous. And bring it all the way down. And you count. Well, you count from the top one, two, three, four. Okay, so I was hoping to do a time lapse video, but this is as far as I'm going to go with this right here because um you got the message you basically you basically do this step one in bead out bead three out beads and then you sew down the fourth uh the fourth bead inner bead in make sure you include the new bead and then you include that with your count your last the last bead to go on there your last in bead to go on there would be number one and then and you count downwards two three four and that's what you use. That's where you sew upwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video on my YouTube. And then I'm going to I'm gonna be ma uh, make off the rest of this necklace in hyperlapse. So that you could see. And I'm hoping that maybe one day soon I'll be able to figure out how to use this hyperlapse during my video but I right now I don't know how to do it <laughs> so it's not giving me any of the options so I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this video and I will be back to do the hyper lapse making the makings of this necklace and like I said it's it's for my protection rocks so I'll see you soon